and welcome to Tipping Point. Let's meet the four players who are hoping to win thousands today. I'm Chris, a retired magazine distributor from London. I'm Rachel, a student nurse from Cornwall. I'm Ben, a timber sales associate from Bristol. And I'm Betty, a retired grocer from Lanarkshire. Good luck to you all. Let's play Tipping Point. So in round one, you each start with three counters. Questions are on the buzzer. If you buzz in and give me a correct answer, you'll have a choice to make. You can either choose to play one of your counters into the machine, or if you think the machine isn't quite ready, you can get one of your opponents to play one of theirs instead. Most of the counters should get out of the machine. We'll add £50 to your score. That includes our mystery counters, which, of course, come with a bonus prize. But also nestled in the machine, we do have two double counters. If one of those falls for you, it will double the entire value of your drop. And should one fall with a jackpot counter at the end of the game, you'll be leaving £20,000 richer. However, do remember, the player with the lowest score at the end of the round will be leaving the game. So keep an eye on those double counters, because they could make all the difference. Everybody ready? OK, hands on your buzzers. Here comes your first question. In her resignation speech, which Tory Prime Minister said... Rachel. Theresa May. It will always remain a matter of deep regret to me that I've not been able to deliver Brexit. Of course, Rachel, you were right. It was Theresa May. So you get to make the first choice. Would you like to play or pass? I'm going to play it. Drop zone one, please. Right, ben. let's have drop zone one for Rachel. See how generous the machine's feeling. Here we go. Rattles down. Oh, no! Took its time, didn't it? Stays on its edge. See so if we can get it flat. Yep, it's down. Okay. Now, pretty central. Let's see if we can get something over the top shelf. Yes, a few here. And is the tipping point ready for you? One counter. <laughs> Sneaks in there, Rachel. You're off the mark. That's 50 fine. pounds. Goal achieved. <laughs> <laughs> you got one out of the machine. There you go. Answered a question. That's fine. <laughs> Let's <laughs> take that from the machine and put it into your bank. So you're up and running with 50 pounds, and you've still got two counters left to play, Rachel. Thank you. Next question. The Australian soap opera Neighbours is set in and around which fictional street in Erinsborough? Ben. Ramsey Street. It is Ramsey Street. Nicely done, Ben. Now, would you like to play or would you like to pass? I'll go for drop zone one. Right, fire up drop zone one, please. Can you measure up here, Ben? Let's see. What a bouncy drop. Seems very apt for Ramsey Street. Double's gonna go. <laughs> Any more? Ah, oh, Struth. Very frustrating that one, Ben. Looked like it was gonna go sadly. Nothing went over the tipping point, I'm afraid. All right. Two counts left to play. Next question. What are the first two words in the English version of the Lord's Prayer? Betty. Our Father. That's right, it is our Father. Well done, Betty. Now, would you like to play? Number one. Please. Drop zone one. Let's yes, do it. Please. Fire up drop zone one for Betty, please. Nicely done. OK, first one goes down. Quick drop. It's pretty central. Is it going to be flat? It's going to be close. Oh, it's riding. It is riding, unfortunately, Betty. Might need to release a little bit earlier. Let's see. Can we get anything here? A little nudge. But nothing more, I'm afraid. So nothing from your first drop. And you've got two counters still to play as well. Next question. In May 2019, which London football team beat Arsenal 4-1? Rachel. Um, oh, my gosh. Liverpool. It was Chelsea. Yeah. Chelsea beat them. Uh, Rachel, I'm afraid we have to steal a it's counter okay. from you. That's going into the penalty pot. You'll all be playing for that at the end of the round. You've got one counter left now, Rachel. You need to use it wisely. Next question. The Swiss company Lint is known for making products... Chris. Chocolate. Using what cocoa-based confection? It is chocolate, Chris. Yes. Now, would you like to play? Yes, please. Where do you want then to go? Drop zone one. One up, please, for Chris. You got it nice and flat there, Chris. Anything going over the top shelf? Bit of a gap there. Go on. You are. Yes. yes. That's right at the double as well. Yeah. Five counters, Chris. Really nice first drop. £250 for you. Let's take it and put it into your bank. So it's going to put you in the lead on 250 And you've got two counters still to play as well. Here comes your next question. In a theatre, what common name is given to the ground-level seating that is located... Chris? Stalls. ..on the bottom tier of an auditorium? It is the stalls. You going straight back in, Chris? Yeah, drop zone one again, please, Ben. Still looks good, doesn't it? Fire one up, please. That doubles very close now as well. 
it goes. It's a really rattly drop, lots of ricochets. Slowed its descent. Is it going to be flat for you? Yes, it is. OK. Anything over the top shelf? Yep, just. And a couple flick over. And the tin boy going to go. Ooh, one drops in for you, Chris. I thought you'd get a few more than that. Yeah. Nice Never stash mind. waiting to go. But let's give you £50 for that one. Let's take it from the machine and put it into your bank. Put you on £300 with one counter still to play. Next question. On a 24-hour digital clock, how is quarter to nine in the evening? Betty. Nine, nine. Quarter to nine in the evening displayed. It's 20.45, Betty, is oh, what sorry. I was after. <laughs> sorry, you got that wrong, so we have the steal counter from you. That's gone into the penalty spot. You'll all be playing for that at the end of the round. You've got one left to play now, Betty. Next question. In 1959, which group of islands in the Pacific Ocean officially became the 50th state of the USA? Chris. Hawaii. It is Hawaii, yes. Well done, Chris. One last count. Do you want to play it? Drop zone one. One up, please. Blimey. Quicker drop that one, wasn't it? Much more rapid and right down the middle. And then going here. Not sure. Oh, I think you've drawn a blank there, Chris. Never mind. Just being pinned that silver counter, so I'm afraid there's nothing more to add from your third and final counter. So you have used all three, Chris. For the time being, though, you are out. Right, Rachel and Betty, you've both got one counter left each. Ben, you've still got two. Next question for the three of you. Diamonds is a greatest hits album by which Rocket Man singer? Rachel. Elton John. It is Elton John. <gasps> yes. yes. Well done. Okay. Right, you're going to play? Drop the same one. One up, please. A lot of money on the tipping point there. That double sitting very close as well on the right. Mystery counter in amongst it too. I settled this flat as well. <laughs> Can you take out Chris's counter? Yeah. Any others going to go? Anything here for you? Oh, yeah. Lovely drop, Rachel. Well done. Bye. <laughs> Keep an eye on it as well. And another one. My legs are going. <laughs> <laughs> Ten counters for you, Rachel. What a lovely drop. £500. Let's take it and put it into your bank. That was your last one as well. So that puts you on £550. So you're way out in the lead. You also got your hands on a mystery prize as well, which is a recipe box of fresh ingredients delivered to your door for six months, courtesy of Gooster. Nice. Lovely. Right then, Rachel, very nicely done. You have used all three counters, so for the time being, you're out. Just Ben and Betty left in. Ben with two counters, Betty with just the one. Next question for the two of you. Here we go. Off what was set up in 1989 in England and Wales to regulate which utility? Betty. Electricity. Gas. Water. Oh, what? <laughs> We're going to run through a few more. <laughs> oh, Betty, I'm sorry. It's OK. You got that one wrong. So I'm afraid we have to steal your last counter. That's going into the penalty <laughs> pot. There's now three. You'll all be playing for that at the end of the round. Uh, Betty, I'm afraid that was your third and final counter. There's nothing in the bank at the moment, so you're going to have to try and win that penalty pot to have a chance of going through. That's uh, Ben, fine. it's just you left in, because it's just you. Don't need your buzzer. You do need to give me the correct answer to both these questions to put your counts into the machine. Here we go, then, Ben. According to the popular saying, a bird in the hand is worth two in the what? Bush. Yes, no problems with that one. Where do you want to put this first counter? I'll go for drop zone one. OK, drop zone one it is. Put your eyes on that double, maybe. It'll certainly get you in amongst it. I think the top shelf, logically, surely the top shelf is better. Let's see if that's right. There you go, comes down on the right-hand side. Is the top shelf better? Is it going to go? Is it going to split? Mm. Oh. Top shelf not great. And it's going to stay there, so nothing from your first drop. <laughs> ben, you've got one counter left to play. Again, you've got to give me the correct answer to put it into the machine. Here we go. The novels The Dwelling Place and The Cinder Path were written by Dame Catherine who? Dench. <laughs> As in Judy Dench. <laughs> OK, no, it wasn't. It's Dame Catherine Cookson. Oh, I wouldn't have known it. There's That's a fine. lot of yeah. pressure on that last <laughs> question, Ben, when you've got to get it right. Unfortunately, you were wrong. No so we steal it from you. That's gone into the penalty pot. 
So as things stand, Rachel is in the lead with £550. Chris is £300. Both Ben and Betty have nothing in the bank, but it's not over. There's four counters up for grabs in the panel spots. So I'm going to ask you all one more question. If you buzz in and give me the correct answer, you put all four counters into the machine, everything could change. If you buzz in and give me the wrong answer, you will be frozen out. So Ben and Betty, you're in joint last place. To have a decent chance of going through, you've got to try and give me the correct answer to this question. If Chris or Rachel gets the penalty pot counters, then once they finish with them, we'll have sudden death between the two of you to decide who goes through to round two, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, good luck, everybody. Here comes your penalty pot question. In the correct spelling of the word duvet, which letter comes last? Ben. T. It is T. Well done. You just beat the others to it. You get all four counters here. Where do you want to put the counters? Um, I'll go... I'll stick with drop zone one. Drop zone one it is. That black counter of yours is getting close to the drop. Let's see if you can get at it before it goes. That first one's going to be yours. Just keep an eye on it now. Let's see. Can we get anything here? A little nudge. Well done, Ben. That's two across the tipping point which is £100. One of them is the double, though, so we can double up and give you another £100. Put you on £200. And sadly, that does mean, Betty, I'm afraid we're going to lose you yes, at the end of the round. Ben. I've enjoyed myself. Uh, ben, we've still got three more to go here, so okay. you can close the gap on Chris. Where do you want to go next? Uh, stick with drop zone one, please, Ben. Staying with it. Yep. Far up one, please. <laughs> There's another black counter hanging over the edge on the right. Mm. What can we do here to release that? Bouncy drop. Yes, it's teasing it here, Ben. And two more drop in, well done. Keep an eye on it. Some more may go. That black counter fell, just shuffled the bottom shelf. So let's add in that £100 for those two. Takes you up to £300 in the machine. Two more to go, Ben. Uh, glutton for punishment. I'll stick with drop zone one. Okay, please, yeah. drop zone one again, please. <laughs> Five counters now to catch Rachel. Nice settle there. Anything coming over the top shelf? There's a few on the edge. If they do go, yes. Is it finally going to give you a decent drop? Into two. <laughs> one more goes in. <laughs> You're creeping forwards here, Ben. And drips and drabs. Right, yeah. <laughs> You're up to £350 in the machine. Adding in that extra 50 there. And one more to go in, Ben. Uh, yeah, stick with drop zone one, please. One again, please. <laughs> Four counters to catch Rachel. That's what would be a lovely way to finish. Just ahead of Chris as it is. Any more. <laughs> Similar spot. Now, can that work for you? Just where you left some. You need that silver one to keep going. Oh, yes. Snuck off. We're going to get four. Oh, oh it's <laughs> two more, Ben. Again, £100 to add. Takes you to £450 in the machine. Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank. And that means at the end of the round, Rachel is leading with £550 ahead of Ben on £450. Chris has £300. Betty, I'm so sorry. But that means with nothing in the bank, we have found your tipping point. Thank you for playing, Betty. Thank you. Thank you very much. Our pleasure. So join us after the break to see which of today's three remaining players will win through to our head-to-head -head in a shot at our £10,000 jackpot. See you in a bit. Welcome back to Tipping Point, where Chris, Rachel and Ben have all survived to play round two. In this round, they'll each have 30 seconds to answer as many questions as possible. Every correct answer will give them a count to play into the machine. As before, the player with the lowest score at the end of the round will be leaving the game. So, Rachel, you're leading after round one, which means you get to choose. Would you like to go first? Or would you like to ask Chris or Ben to play? I'm going to go first. OK, 30 seconds for Rachel, please. Your time starts now. The title of the 1937 animated Disney film is Who and the Seven Dwarfs? Snow White. Correct. Which Elizabethan playwright is credited as the author of the tragedy Timon of Athens? William Shakespeare. Correct. On the 6th of August, 1901, explorer Robert Scott first set out for which icy continent? Antarctica. Correct. According to the New Testament, which religious figure chose 12 special followers as Jesus. his apostle? Correct. Male honeybees are commonly known by what name? Um, bumblebees. Drone. Mobile phones made by which Finnish company often have the electronic game Snake pre-installed? Nokia. It is Nokia. 
just out of time there, Rachel. Nokia is the correct answer, but you did get four correct answers, which is not a bad return at all. Uh, the one you jumped in on quite quickly, according to the New Testament, which religious figure chose 12 special followers as his apostles? Of course, it was Jesus or Jesus Christ. Right, where do you want to start with your first counter? Drop zone four, please, Ben. All right, let's change it up. Far up, drop zone four. Finish down the end there. Wash down and settled nicely. Top shelf delivers. How about the bottom? Shoveling it forward. Mm. Oh, just setting it up. OK, nothing from that one, Rachel. Staying with job zone four? Yeah. Yes, four please. up, please. <laughs> OK, goes the other side. Should bring the mystery down, shouldn't it? See if you can do that. Yes, just peels it off the top shelf. And one sneaks in. He's setting a few more up. Fifty okay. pounds, Rachel. Let's add that to the machine. Two more to go. Job zone four again. Yes, please. Four up, please. Where's this one going to land? Most of the times. Anything over the top shelf might just split here. Oh, those ones in the corner don't go too deep. Just keep an eye on that as that silver candle gets shuffled back. There you go. Could take out the ones you just shut there. Four more across the tipping point. That's a lot better, isn't it? 200 pounds. Up to 250 pounds. You put three in. One more to go. Yeah, I'm going to go with drop zone four again, please. Four up, please. Mystery's got close. Looks good on the left. What can we finish with here, Rachel? Slams down on the left. Oh, that's a nice cluster over the top. Good spread. Are they going to go? Yeah, well done. <laughs> and another four to finish with, so another 200 pounds. 450 in total. Let's take it from the machine and put it into a bank. That's going to leave you on a thousand pounds, Rachel. Well done. Thank you. Right, Ben, you are ahead of Chris, so you get to choose now. Would you like to play next? Or would you like Chris to play? Uh, I think I'll play next, please. Okay. Thirty seconds for Ben, please. Your time starts now. Built in 1802 on the Isle of Dogs, the West India Docks are located in which British capital city? Pass. London. What is the minimum age someone has to be to be described as a tricenarian? Sixteen. Thirty. The pioneering steam engine known as the Rocket was built by George and Robert who? Pass. Stevenson. In the human body, the bronchi directly connect the windpipe to which organs used for breathing? Lungs. Correct. Which department store launched its own home brand, Jonelle, in 1937? Debenhams. John Lewis. One correct answer, Ben. It's going to need to be good. <laughs> OK, you've got one counter. OK. You've got one chance to try and close the gap on Rachel. I think I'll go drop zone four. At the very least, there's a mystery counter at the back. So. OK, good shout. Fire up drop zone four. a lovely overhang on the left. If it does get down and through, there's a lot of money that Rachel's left for somebody. Is it going to get anything over the top? Just snuck those two down. There you go. That's a great return from one counter, Ben. You've lucked out there. Five across the tipping point. £250. Let's take it from the machine and put it into your bank. And it puts you on £700. Right then, Chris, we come to you. 30 seconds for Chris. Your time starts now. In 1759, which Irish stout producer bought a nine... Correct. In 1975, Bill Clinton married which future US presidential candidate? Hillary Clinton. Correct. In the measurement of power, how many watts are in a gigawatt? Thousand. One billion. Oh. Which single word title is used for the female equivalent of an emperor? Empress. Correct. When it launched in 1994, how much did it cost to buy a ticket for the UK National Lottery? Pound. Correct. In 2009, which comedian became the host of the Radio 4 comedy show? I'm sorry, I haven't a clue. Jack D. It was Jack D. Four correct answers for you there, Chris. You jumped in on that first one very quickly. I'll give you the rest of the question. In 1759, which Irish stout producer bought a 9,000-year lease for the site of its Dublin brewery? You're absolutely right when you said Guinness. OK, you've got four counters here, so you're giving yourself a decent chance of catching Ben. Just need eight counters. Where are you thinking of starting, Chris? 
Drop zone four, I think. Let's do it. Four up, please. Here we go. Slam down on the finish. It is slap bang in the middle, isn't it? Anything going there? Ooh, could take that mystery out and a little cluster next to it. That's a really nice start. Five counters, Chris. Five across the tipping point, 250 pounds. Good. Really nice start. And you got yourself a mystery prize as well, which is a sunrise balloon flight with champagne for two, courtesy of Fire Gift. Sounds great. Very yeah. romantic, that, Chris. Yeah, Sounds brilliant. brilliant. Yeah. Uh, three more to go as well. You've closed the gap significantly already. Where next? I'll stick with drop zone four for a second. Yeah. Okay, let's do drop zone four, please. Three more now to catch Ben. That's enough on the tipping point. There's a few gaps here. And there. Spins and pops on the saddle. No, no, Anything there, do you think? Might just it's stagger it. Not quite. Nothing for that one. Still got two more to go. Right, drop zone four again, please, Ben. Four up, please. Navigate those gaps, Chris. Ooh, yes. Has it gone far enough? Ben's nodding. Yes, there's a few. All oh, one drops in already. Is the tipping point ready? Oh, that'll do it. Ben, I'm afraid that means we're going to lose you. No worries. That's another eight across the tipping point, Chris. Another 400 pounds. Takes you up to 650 pounds in the machine. You're now just 50 pounds shy of Rachel, and you've got one more to put in. Say I'll try drop zone three, please. OK, fire up drop zone three. Hammers down that right oh, it's hand in the side. Right place. Get... Yeah, a couple here. Might get that double forward. Just need one more to catch Rachel. Oh, you're not going to get anything, sadly. Just nudge them all forward. <laughs> so you stay on 650 pounds. It is nip and tuck. Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank. And we can see that Rachel is leading with 1,000 pounds, just ahead of Chris, who has 950 pounds. Ben, I'm sorry to say that means with 700 pounds, we have found your tipping point. Thank you for playing. No worries. I've had a lovely day. Great to Thank see you, Ben. So it's Chris and Rachel who'll be going head to head after the break for the right to play for a 10,000 pound jackpot. Now, though, it's your chance to win an amazing cash prize. For £40,000, text WIN to 65433. Text costs £2 plus one standard network rate message. Call 09068 785 Calls cost £2 plus your network access charge. Go to the website, entries cost £2. Or post your name and phone number to TP214, PO Box 7558, Derby D10NQ. Entrance must be 18 or over. Lines close at 10am on Monday. Welcome back to Tipping Point. Just two players remain, Chris and Rachel. Very well done to both of you for getting this far. We're about to find out which one of you will be taking on the machine for our jackpot today. Now, in this round, you're each going to be asked three questions alternately. On your question, you can choose to answer, or you can pass it to your opponent. If you give me a correct answer, you put the counter into the machine. If you give me a wrong answer, your opponent puts the counter into the machine. Whoever has the most money at the end of this round will be today's winner. There is only £50 in it. But, Rachel, that does mean you, as the leader, have the power. You can choose to play, take the first question, or you can pass control of the machine to Chris. I'm going to take the first question, please. Here we go, then, Rachel. First one for you. In which of her arms does the Statue of Liberty hold a tablet that bears the adoption date of the Declaration of Independence? So you can play this or you can pass it to Chris. I'm going to go... I'm going to answer it. OK. Yep. And you're going to say she's holding the tablet in her... Right. Her right arm? Yeah. OK. Chris, what would you have said? I'd have gone left. But... You'd have gone left. Have you got it the right way around, Rachel? Is she holding it in her right arm? No, it's a left, Rachel. It's a left. It's right. Oh. Well, I would have lost it anyway, so... Chris, you get the counter, cos Rachel was wrong. Where do you want to put it? Uh, drop zone three, please, Ben. Right, fire three up. Great time to steal. Maybe close this gap. The double's close. Rattles down. Ooh. Didn't want to settle for you, though. Is it going to be flat? Yes, yes. it is. Can you get Splitting something over the top bit, shelf? It? it might do just that, Chris. You're right. It does do that. So no damage done, fortunately, there, Rachel. 
those counts mm. are going to cling to that top shelf. So, Chris, you keep control, though. Time for your first question. Yeah. Which rubber-soled canvas shoes share their name with the load line on the side of a ship? You can play or you can pass, Chris. I'll play, I think, Ben. OK. Um, that would be, I think, Plimpsoul. Plimpsoul? Yeah. You're going with Plimpsoul? Yeah. Let's see if you're right, Chris. Is the answer Plimpsoul? It is, yes. Plimpsoul line or Plimpsoul's. Well done, Chris. So, can we get something out of the machine? Just £50, pounds, innit? Yep. Drop zone three. Drop zone three, please, Ben. Fire it up. Top shelf certainly looking more attractive. Yep, there you go. Going, you need a little nudge, might take them over. It's riding, oh, would you believe it? As that comes forward, they're very close. A little nudge could do it. Oh, but it doesn't. It just rides up and over. Sadly, nothing from that counter. Right, Rachel, you're still in this and you're still leading. Time for your second question. Okay. In the 1980s animated TV series He Man and the Masters of the Universe, who is the skull faced arch enemy of He Man? Did you watch the series? No. No. A bit before your time, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to pass it. Passing it over to Chris. Chris, any ideas? The only thing I can think of is Skeletor. Skeletor. Rachel, what do you think? Oh, that's a good shot, isn't it? You wouldn't know. <laughs> Let's find out, Chris. Is the answer Skeletor? It is Skeletor. Yeah, well Ooh, <laughs> there you go. It came from oh somewhere. Yeah, you had it in there. Where do you want to go, Chris? Three? Yeah, I'll go three again, please, Ben. Three up, please. Like that. Is it going to ride? Yeah, it looks like it. It is! It, it, might, it might still knock. It's quite tightly packed, isn't it? Is it going to happen this time? Oh, goodness me, Chris. You put three <laughs> counters into drop zone three, not one's come out yet. Uh. Though you do keep control, it's time for your second question. At the 2019 British Book Awards, which celebrity author won the Children's Fiction Book of the Year Award for the Ice Monster. I think she, Rachel will probably know it. Uh, I'm going to pass it anyway. Oh, Rachel, we could do with stealing one here. You've had no joy in this round. It's it's one of two people. OK. You can name them both before you give me your answer. Um, it's either, well, I think, David Williams or Walliams or... Um, I think it's the one from McFly, but I'm just trying to remember his name. Can't believe it. OK. I'll have to go for David Walliams. David then. Walliams? Yeah. All right. Let's see if you're right, Rachel. Is the answer David Walliams? It is no David way. Walliams. <laughs> oh, well Thank done. God I couldn't remember his second name. Tom oh. Fletcher is who you're thinking of. So you get the counter. It's a great steal. Um, drop zone three, please. Fire up drop zone three. Goes the other side. Something over the top shelf. Desperately need something here. Yeah. And is the tipping point going to go? I'm not sure. Two counters. Sneak out. £100 right there, Sorry. Rachel. <laughs> you got it right. She did get it right. Let's take it from the machine and put it into your bank. It puts you on £1,100. And you keep control as well. It's time for your third and final question. The insignia for which rank in the British Army is made up of just two chevrons? So you can play this or you could pass it to Chris. He's looking stoic. He is, isn't he? Oh. My partner's in the army. He's going to kill Your me. Your partner is in yeah. the army. <laughs> oh, obviously, you know his uniform. <laughs> uh, no, you don't know? Um, How long have you been together? Um, two years. Just the two years? I refuse to iron any of his shirts, so... Who's laughing now, Al? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh, my gosh. What's so, your partner's name? Toby. I cannot believe it. Um, I'm going to go with Corporal because he's a Corporal. He's a Corporal? Yeah. So, Rachel, there's a lot riding on this. More yeah. than just the counter. <laughs> yeah. The future Ooh. of your relationship with Toby, your long-suffering partner... Oh, yeah. 
Let's see. <laughs> is the answer corporal? It is! <laughs> Hang your head in shame, Rachel. <laughs> Can you believe that? <laughs> uh, you get the counter. Well done, Rachel. You dug out the right answer somehow. Where do you want to put it? Drop the same three, please. Let's have three again. Rams down. Is it too far over for the double? Let's see. Could be right on it. Oh, that's a fair few. Finally going across the top shelf. Is the bottom going to go? Yes, it is. Well done, Rachel. Eight across the tipping point, which is a really nice drop anyway. That's £400. But one of them is the double. The irony on the one question you had to get right and did it. We can double it up. It takes the £800 on that drop. Let's take it from the machine and put it into your bank. Which on £1,900. Chris, your job just got a lot harder. Oh, I know. <laughs> Time for your third and final question. <sighs> In which century did the first fish and chip shop open in the UK? Oh, I'll play. You'll have a play? OK. What are you thinking, then? 19th. 19th century? Yeah. Yeah, OK. Rachel, what would you have said? 18th. You might have gone 18th <laughs> century. Let's see if you're right. The first fish and chip shop in the UK, did it open in the 19th century? Yes, it did. 1860s it opened, Chris. So one last count is put oh, into the machine. Oh, You've had go. no joy in this round. I'm going to try drop zone two, I think. OK, drop zone two it is. Just the 19 counters. there's counties. a few on the edge there. Whips down, settled well. Anything over the top shelf? Yes, there's three across the top. Is the bottom going to go? <laughs> we finally insult. got you one, Chris. Got one. Got yeah. one. £50 across the tipping point. It's not going to be enough, of course. Let's take it from the machine and put it into your bank, because at the end of the round, with £1,900, very well played, Rachel. You've played well a great done, round. Though, Congratulations. Yeah. You are today's winner. Uh, Chris, I'm sorry, that does mean that with £1,000, we have found it important. Of course, you have won your balloon flight for That's two great. years. That's great. That's great. I've got, so got to find a woman to take with you. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be plenty offering, I'm sure. <laughs> Thank you so much for playing. Thank you, Ben. I've had a great day. It's been lovely to meet you. Thank so, you. Rachel, goodness me, despite your best efforts, you are through. <laughs> you are today's winner, yeah. which means in a few moments I'm going to ask you to put this jackpot counter into the machine. Now, this one's bigger than the others and so much better, because if you get it out again, you're going to go home for £10,000. Can Rachel master the machine by finding its jackpot tipping point? We'll find out after the break. Now, though, it's your chance to win an amazing cash prize. For £40,000, text WIN to 65433. Text costs £2 plus one standard network rate message. Call 09068 785 433. Calls cost £2 plus your network access charge. Go to the website, entries cost £2. Or post your name and phone number to TP214, PO Box 7558, Derby D10NQ. Entrance must be 18 or over. Lines close at 10am on Monday. Welcome back to the final part of Tipping Point. Rachel is our winner today and currently has £1,900. We're still reeling from the fact that your partner of two years, Toby, who is in the army, who's a corporal in the army, you had never really noticed he had two chevrons on his uniform. I've got no excuse. I'm just an awful girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> At least you're holding your hands up. I know, yeah, absolutely. You're clearly absolutely. very busy. Yeah, yeah, really busy, yeah. With, with, with <laughs> the other important part of your life, which is what you're studying for, of course. That's right. Am which I... is to be a nurse? Yeah, yeah. I'm uh, actually finishing four weeks. Wow, OK. Now. How's it all been going? Three years has gone so quickly, so almost at the end of it. Be fine. It will. It will. Especially what would make it fine is if we sent you home with our jackpot today, Rachel, which yeah. would be really special. Any ideas what you'd like to do with the money were we to get the ten thousand um, pounds? Really, I should pay off the debt to my dad. Has he been looking after you through your studies? Yeah, yeah, he has. Yeah, he's lent me some money. Um, but my best friend out in Australia had a um, baby boy two years ago on my birthday, and I've not met him yet. So I'd like to go see him. That'd be really yeah. special. Well, fingers crossed, we can get that money for you. Best of luck, Rachel. OK, thank so you. So, to find out whether Rachel's going to win our jackpot today, in a few moments, I'm going to ask you to put the jackpot counter into the machine. If you want to go home with £10,000, Rachel, you just need to get it out again. OK. Here's how you can do it. I'm going to show you six question categories. For each category, you choose to play one, two or three counters into the machine. The more you play for, the harder the question will be. The more you win, the better your chances of getting the jackpot counter out. OK. That's it. That's it. That is it. <laughs> All right, so where do you want to put the jackpot counter then, Rachel? Ben, I'm going to go with drop zone four, please. Let's do it. Fire it up.
slams down at the end, right in the middle. Dig in a slide. Okay, splits that one there. Anything coming out? Mm, two counters go. Hundred pounds for those two takes up to two thousand okay. pounds. Got the jackpot counter nice and flat right in the middle of drop zone four. Okay, let's have a look at your categories. This is what we have for you. Film, sport, nature, food and drink, geography and fashion. We can play them in any order you like. So when you're ready, where do you want to start and for how many? I'm just going to start from the top and work my way down. Okay, so, so film first. For three, please. Film for three. Roger Moore first starred as James Bond in which of these films? Live and Let Die, The Man with the Golden Gun, or For Your Eyes Only? You into Bond? No, I've only seen a couple. Um, I think that uh, Live and Let Die and For Your Eyes Only were a little bit more recent. Um, so I'm going to go with The Man with the Golden Gun. OK. Yeah. We're going with The Man with the Golden Gun. Is the answer The Man with the Golden Gun? It was his second. Live second. and Let Die was the first okay. one. That's all right. OK, not to worry. Let's go back to the categories. So we're taking out film. Sports next on the list? <laughs> yep, sport. For how many? For three. We're going for three on sport, please. In 2005, which British sailor broke the world record for the fastest solo circumnavigation of the globe? Francis Chichester, Ellen MacArthur or Che Blythe? Um, before the answers came up, I thought it was Ellen MacArthur. And I remember watching a news programme where she was chatting away on, like, when she was on her own. So I'm going to go Ellen MacArthur. Ellen MacArthur? Yeah. We're lighting up Ellen MacArthur, please. Let's see if you've got the right answer. Was it Ellen MacArthur? Yes. Well okay, done. Got one right. <laughs> OK. Right. Three counters. Drop zone four. Yes, please. Light it up. Let's see how we get on here, see if we can get it moving. Get close, actually. Might squeeze it a little bit left. It does. Let's see. There's a nice little cluster of counters there. They're going to go. They're going to hang on. They're just going to dangle. Two more to go. Drop some four again. Yes, please. Fire it up. <laughs> Too far the other way now. Squeeze over to it, though. There you go. Oh, got a little nudge. A little bit of lateral. Take out that little... Yes, it does. Four counters go for you. Let's give you £200. Takes you up to £2,200. And one more to go. Job zone four. Yes, please. Light it up. Oh, that's the one. Right at it. Get it right to the edge. There you go. Okay. Anything coming over? Got the jackpot moving, another £50 maybe? Yes, the £50 to add in. We're up to £2,250. OK, back to the categories. Come to the third one, nature. Nature for three. Nature for three it is. According to the Guinness Book of Records, which species of bird lays the smallest eggs? Green woodpecker, dunnock or vervain hummingbird? The smallest bird there is a hummingbird, I think. I've not heard of dunnock. And woodpeckers, I think, put their eggs in other nests. I'm going to go with a vain hummingbird, please. Hummingbird? Yeah. OK. We're looking for the species of bird that lays the smallest eggs, according to the Guinness Book of Records. Is it the vervain hummingbird? Yes, it is. <laughs> Okay. Right, well done. Three counters. Drop zone four. Yes, please. Light it up. Oh, that's right on it there, Rachel. That is right on it. The charming air machine there. Oh, my God. It's moving very nicely. <laughs> 50 pounds drops in. Takes the 2,300 pounds. Okay. Two more to get in. Drop zone four again. Yes, please. Light it up. Let's see. It's okay. I'm going to squeeze them all. 
Still one goes. One more drops in. Take another 50 pounds, 2,350 pounds. OK. And one more. Drop zone four? Yes, please. Four up, please. Too far, I think, unless we get a bit of lateral on that black counter. Little nudge. Where's this guy? Gonna slide into the gap. Okay. Yeah, so we're on the bottom shelf. It's going in the right direction. We're in good shape. Back to the categories. We're halfway. Food and drink for three, please, Ben. Food and drink for three. Enology is the science and study of which alcoholic beverage? Beer, cider, or wine? Enology. Mm. Before, again, before the answers came up, um, wine was in my head. But, um, I feel like I would have heard what that was. Um, I'm going to go with beer. Beer? Yep. Should we light it up? Yep. We're going to go with beer, please. Is it beer? It's wine. Oh, no way. It is. Talked myself out of It's wine. OK, let's not worry, cos we're still in great shape. We've got two more to go. We have geography and fashion. Geography for three, please. Geography for three. The names of how many US states begin with the letter M? Three, five, or eight? So which ones can you name? I used to know all of them. Amazing. But I don't anymore. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> um, so okay. which ones can you remember? Any? I don't, I, uh, um, you can Montana. just start in Montana. Um, Maine. Maine's another one. OK. I can't remember loads more, so I'm thinking if I go lower. I don't think it's eight. I'm going to go with three. Three? Mm -hmm. Should you light it up? Yeah, yes, please, yeah. We're going with three. So it's something you used to know. You used to be able to yeah. recite all 50. We're looking for the ones that begin with the letter M. Is there three? Eight. No way. We'd never have gone for eight. No, I wouldn't have. Back to the categories then. Let's have a look. You've kept fashion till the end. You're just silly. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll have to go three. Yeah. Yeah. Fashion for three. The fashion magazine Vogue was first published in which year? 1892, 1922, or 1962? Um, I don't think it's 1962. I think it's at least that many years old. 1892, though. 1922, like the 20s for fashion was great. Post-war as well. 1922. 1922? Yeah, yeah. Should we light it up? Yeah. We're going with 1922. The fashion magazine Vogue, was it first published in 1922? No, it was 1892. No way. 1892. Oh, gosh, now I've got a hard decision. Yes, you do. Because we're out of questions and categories, but it's not over. I'm going to what offer you one last chance to lead today with £10,000. As things stand, you've got £2,350. a lot of money. You can walk away with that money right now, or you can trade it for three final counters put into the machine in the hope of getting the jackpot counter out. If you decide to take the trade, as I'm sure you know, nothing else has any value. You'll leave with £10,000, or you'll leave with no money whatsoever. Do you think three would be enough? Yeah, I think it could be enough. And I said that if it was under 3,000 and it was on the bottom shelf, I would. I just think it looks a bit bare. I'm going to take the money. OK. Yeah. I'll ask you one last time. Would you like to take the money or the trade? <sighs> I'm going to take the money. OK, well done. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations, Rachel. Like you say, £2,350 yeah. is a lovely amount of money. Let's see what might have happened had you taken the trade. We're going to play it out, see if you made the right decision. OK. Job one. I think that's right on it, as that goes forward. Edges the jackpot counter forward. Drop two. Oh, oh it's a rider. We're fine. Oh, that was close. We're fine. Nothing for a rider. This was the third and final drop. Let's see a little bit of lateral on that black one. 
No, you made the right decision. <laughs> Satisfied now. Oh, my gosh. How's that relief? My legs have stopped shaking. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> yeah. Well, look, you're leaving with £2,350. Oh. And, of course, I think the thing you're most excited yeah. about is your food box subscription. I know, yeah. Have I'm you enjoyed so, yourself? So much fun, yeah. You've thank you so much. You've been brilliant. Well done. Thank you. Our pleasure. Really, really lovely to meet you. Congratulations and best of luck with the rest of your studies as well. Thank you. And graduating yeah. too. Uh, so there you go. Rachel's leaving with £2,350. She got herself a lovely prize. She's got a big apology to make when she gets home and sees Toby, though. Join us next time in the fate of four more players or hang in the balance on Tipping Point. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.